All right, ladies and gents, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have some regicide diplomacy, and we've got eight kings, we've got eight players, and we've got a massive, massive map called Migration here. Um, we haven't done Migration in a really long time, but I recall some epic games with Migration over the years. There's lots of different things you can do, and we'll kind of break that down now. So again, the way to win this game is to be the uh, final player remaining with their king alive. We are playing with the Exploding Kings mod, which could add a little bit more flavor to this one. In the teal, we have FLK. Playing as the Spanish, they went random civilization. I'm personally hoping for Cannon Galleons. That could be really fun. Yes. Um, in the gray, we have Gray, who's playing as the Incas. Also, lovely yes. tower. Eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to go around and we're going to rate these towers out of 10. I haven't seen all the other towers yet, but that is very close to 10. Um... In the green, we have Tom. Tom is playing as the Magyars. Also, King just left the tower, apparently. Look at that. How can he even fit through that door? It's like they made a door for him, actually. He, that's a king-sized door. Sorry, getting distracted. In the blue, we have a core playing as the Mongols. Uh, in the red, we have Rakata Infinite Empire, who just said, what is this map? So there hasn't been a lot of homework from red, apparently. Uh, in the orange, we have Pungus uh, playing as the Italians. In the yellow, we have Ragnarok playing as the Malay. And then last but not least, we have Avalid who's playing as the Malians. Now, a bit of perspective on the purple player. A uh, player who I've run into a lot on the Empire Wars ladder. I think his 1v1 rank is maybe 16 or 1700, which definitely puts him above the majority of community game players. But... I don't think he watches my community games a lot. So he he did ask for clarification on kind of how everything works right before this game. So I don't think he is coming in here with that much know-how when it comes to the Diplo settings. And you can actually already see, it looks like he allied just like two people. That's a big, big no-no. <laughs> that is not what you want to do. Um, so yeah, eight players. Now, you start on this little island with enough resources to work with. And then eventually you need to move to the middle to take stone and gold and whatever else. Uh, what makes it unique is that everyone's kind of moving to the middle, right? So you could run into people. And um, yeah, obviously if there's king explosions as well, you could have some problems. Now, sometimes uh, there are instances where everyone's so focused on the middle, they leave their king on their island, and then water control could lead to kings being sniped. Um, so that is definitely something you have to keep an eye out for. But we have lots of build-up here, lots of time to chill, and so far, we do have some teams. Red is talking to Orange right now, and we'll see what Orange says to that. But what I find very interesting is that... Okay, Purple said, want to team up... Wow, this is really interesting. He said, want to team up to everybody? Blue said yes, and Gray said yes. Then he allied blue and gray, the only two that responded, and now says, what is the plan? Huh. Again, we know, after yes. dozens of community games, I'm sure even viewers who've never played in them have watched a lot of them, you should probably just ally everyone at the start. Uh, that is due to the fact that people will, are looking for... They're looking for people who they can't trust, not people who they should trust. Uh, usually you just kind of ally everyone and adapt. But we'll find out. Uh, migration is sort of like Nomad with extra steps. Um, not really. Um, kind of, I guess. I don't know. You can make... Actually, I see what you mean, right? It's like Nomad in the mid game. Yeah. I, I see kind of where your brain's at there. Okay, so anyways, we're going to rank these towers, right? We're going to go through and rank these towers. Um, and give them a rating out of 10. Now, I'm going to give this a solid 7. It's not actually the most impressive tower, but it's a nostalgic tower for me in the game because this tower was in a lot of early campaigns. So 7 out of 10 here for Red's tower. This tower. Um, I appreciate the fact there's a stairwell, which has a little o overlook there. That's cool. I like the lions on the doorstep. That's pretty yes. cool. Overall, lots of fine detail. Doesn't It still doesn't get me that excited. But I'm going to give that a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's a little bit better um, than, the, than the previous one, possibly. 
Whoa, okay. All right, this tower. So similar theme. We obviously got the stairs to get up the tower. You've got a little doorway here, little boxes inside. That's cool. Um, what are these things? Is that like a what a gargoyle? A lion? I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Uh, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten for that. I probably should know what that thing is, but um, this tower here. Yeah. It feels like this is less exciting than the other towers. I can't really get on board with it. We'll give this a five. A five out of ten for the Malian Tower. Uh, what about the Teal Tower? Um, okay, that is literally the same tower we saw before, so we're just going to give the same rating as before. Great. And the gray? Oh, yeah, baby. This tower's sick. I love this tower. This tower's nice. I was always going to be biased for this tower because I saw it first. But I don't know. There's just something about it, man. The design's really cool. Um, yes. I'm a big fan of the Incas in general. There's a civilization historically. I want to go travel there at some point. So maybe that. But I'm going to give this a 10. Because there's just... It's the perfect amount of detail and simplicity. And I like it. So maybe we should give it a 9. Because it is kind of bugged into the rocks here. But that's not the tower's fault. Yes. Best one so far, though. In the green... Ooh, the Magyar Tower. This is pretty cool. Um, I like the, you know, uh, I actually think this tower looks better in the color green than it would other players' colors. That might seem like a stupid thing to say, but it feels like green just suits the white on this tower. Whereas it might not with other colors. I'm a tower decor expert. Still give it a seven and a half. Did we look at blue? Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so we've got like the Asian style tower. It doesn't have as many stairwells as some of the other ones. I don't even know who could fit up there. These villagers are really big. I don't know about the sizing there. We'll give that another seven out of ten. Lots of sevens. No. Lots of sevens for me. People can give their input on why my ratings are incorrect. But I literally didn't have anything else to talk about. Uh, Orange says, I forget there's even chat in this game, to be honest. Um, and what else has been happening? Talking about friendships. It looks like Gray is speaking out here to Green. And Green says, most deaf. And Blue is talking to Red as well. And... Avlid is already talking about aggression. He says you want to go water. This guy's making fire galleys. This is this is just not going to be good for him. <laughs> he is going to be seen as a bully. And whoever is teamed with him may also be looped into the bully category. If this was a normal team game. Getting that water control would be good. If you start to snipe people's fishing ships at this stage, people will remember it. Hmm. A uh, green looks too much like a church. Well, I mean, churches do have towers. Yeah, I could see what you mean. Like, if this was attached, if, if this was, like, the, the entrance and then the the uh, back portion of the church was here, maybe. Uh, shout out to all the thought that's been put into the cool build design in this game. I agree. I'm also going to continue the, uh, the series and make another video where we zoom in on buildings and just talk about it. I'm tempted to do it now. Like, what is in there? Is this a bunch of sacks? Is that flour? Because it's a mill? Yeah, I think one of these days, I will just do... Maybe we do a tower video, right? All the ta all the fortified towers? Lots of things to break down. But yeah. Um, so Castle Age coming in, it's a very similar times for five players. The first one there will be Gray. Gray was in a community game prior to this, and his internet disconnected. And so we gave him another spot. Same with the core. Well... No, his internet was fine. He just kind of got killed off in an unfortunate way. Uh, why is it towers rather than castles? Um, I think it's a migration thing, but also there's two ways to do regicide. If you go above the map in the menu, so it's at the top, and select regicide, it generally spawns castles for you. If you use the checkbox for regicide, which is at the bottom, that doesn't always generate the castles. Um, so that was an intentional move on my part because I feel like the towers are less protection. You should do it for different ages as well. Yeah, yeah. 
content galore there. But I, I have to do a little bit of research, actually, instead of... Maybe you guys like the foolish, crazy, all-over-the-place T90 that comes with those types of videos, but... Um, and this may shock you, but I don't like to come off as ignorant. And I, I came off a little bit ignorant in my assessment of the uh, barracks, for example. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe need to put a little bit more effort into the low-effort content. <laughs> How do you get into the lower level of Gray's Tower? Well, you gotta climb these steps, man. Oh, you mean here? Well, I mean, if you can climb the stairs, you can climb the decorations on the side. You really shouldn't. I think you'd probably get shot in the face with an arrow for that. But, I mean, they were spilling blood on these steps and probably in these giant golden bowls as well, so... Oh, that would be the Aztecs. I'm not sure. Eh. I think the Incas, they just got killed off, right? <laughs> I know they yes. stuck around for a bit. Hey, we should team up. Red says yes to everybody. And this is funny. Orange to everybody says yellow only to you. Want to be friends? Whoops. Whoops-a-daisies. Green says K, so purple killed my transport. Really? Is there deaths here? Where's the deaths at? I forgot purple's so yeah. hostile towards people. It says purple's got three kills. It says just one death there for green, and that was probably just the transport, so that means there was nothing inside of the transport. But purple... Not really happy. Um, well, I don't know if purple's not happy, but purple is is happy to be aggressive against people. Red says, purple really worries me right now. And now gray goes to green. So want to target perp? Dude, this happens all the time, guys. <laughs> He's also, I think, the higher elo player in the lobby, too, which doesn't help. Green says, yeah, I think he's good, too. And so they're all talking about purple as he transitions into three TCs here. Loose is red, leaving some space for you in the middle. That's very nice chatter. Um, I mean, red, you have gone <laughs> uh, very crazy with the fishing ships, my friend. We have 30 fishing ships here. Dang. So that's a lot. It does feel like, to me, like purple will eventually die. It's also possible he won't expect it. Hmm... Someone said there's a ladder in the center section of the Inca Tower. Maybe. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah, because this is open as well. I guess this doesn't look like it's open, but yeah. Green says, my goal is to mass cab archers late. This is to blue and gray players on either side, which is really smart thinking when you're thinking alliances. But, you know, fishing's not bad. Especially if you build more docks. So if red in this position could make a dock here and a dock here, all the fish becomes very efficient. Green doesn't have TCs up in the middle yet. Yellow is just getting a TC up in the middle. Blue's building TCs and castles now in the middle. But purple has outposts everywhere. Keep in mind, purple is only allied with half the players. And, uh, you know, he's really looking strong right now. He's at 61 eco. It's not the highest right now. And he says to, to Orange, we take yellow, question mark. Because he did not change the team. Well, he has you allied, actually. <laughs> um, I, I don't think purple... <laughs> really, Avalid, my friend, you're amazing at Empire Wars. You really got to just look at the settings for a second here, my friend. <laughs> Uh, what's the difference between this game and Age of Empires 1? Uh, pretty massive differences. You have many different civilizations in Age of Empires 2. Um, the way you collect certain resources is different. You can garrison inside of certain buildings where in Age of Empires 1 you can't. Um, in my opinion, Age of Empires 2 is just a way better version of Age of Empires 1. Community also is striving as well. But I obviously... You know, I, I, I'm an Age of Empires 2 guy, right? So uh, that's my thought. But yeah, there's there's too many differences to really count. 
You probably could pick up on a lot of similarities, though, if you came from age one to age two. All right, so big build up here. I think FLK is going to benefit from purple being a target here because typically you have the top score player as the player everyone's worried about. But I think some of purple's actions is just going to lead people to focus on purple and allow Teal to continue to boom up. Especially if Teal could be someone's favor uh, or savior, excuse me, that could be really good. Yeah, there's a massive community in AOE 1 uh, for in Vietnam. Lord Metz, Metz the Meister. Uh, and the biggest age creator is a... a uh, well, there's multiple, but... The biggest is an Age of Empires 1 streamer who streams on Facebook. The dude is massive. He's got like a million and a half followers. And uh, he's, I've briefly talked to him in Heidelberg, so... Pretty chill so far. Grace is so who all are is on our side. Luce is going to imp now. And Teal is still planning on teaming with Purple, apparently. Says, How is the boom going? And Purple says, I attack now. So he has been attacking on water. Hasn't been crazy. But he has been making life difficult for Yellow. Yellow hasn't really asked for help from anybody, but can't be enjoying himself. Teal says I'm doing fine. Green, who is on our team? This is Gray. We have the first king being transported to the new land. He heard about the land being rich with resources. He wants to experience it instead of staying on his tiny little island. I don't blame him. Maybe he got sick of the tower, but you notice what Green has done, guys. Green has put a villager inside of that tower. That is going to make people think the king is in there. Sneaky little move. Wow, I, are these the same players that were arriving to Castle Age at the same time earlier? Probably not. But I recall five people being on the way to Castle Age at the same time. Now you've got five on the way to Imp. Orange says, yellow and red, we are close. Want to ally us three till the end. Now, if there's anyone out there right now who's thinking, why aren't these guys diploing better? Why aren't they like forming their teams better? This migration map is so much more difficult than your standard map we see. You've got the water element. You have the transport. It's nomad-esque, like it was explained earlier, where you have to... Um, you don't have a typical base structure, right? And you just have to worry about many different factors. So that all seems very understandable to me. Again, FLK, showing experience in community games, has the best economy now. I don't know where this monk is going. But even getting relics... And that relic was from far away. That's going to be relic 4. And actually, if you guys forgive me, I'm going to go back to the start. How many relics are on this map? Okay, so there's six. But that that's important because you could trigger a relic countdown. You don't want to do that. So that would be if you got all six, which I guess isn't going to happen. And we have long swords! Long swords from Avalid! As he's being aggressive against poor Yellow. Now, Yellow's King is in this tower, guys. He has not been able to get away. He's surrounded on sea. And he's now being attacked on land. And Purple now says, oh, we're friends, question mark? Because he just saw that Yellow had declared, had turned on him in defense. Well, you're not acting like a friend. Like, Purple thought that Yellow was enemy to him. Purple was allied the entire time. Anyways, I don't know if Purple's going to change his mind here. I mean, you're already so close to killing the king. You, you might as well just finish the poor guy off, but the king's making a run for it. And the transport is here, and the fires are not in position. So, you, they're not friends anymore. Yellow making a mad dash to escape. I don't think there's any army from Purple that is on land ready to snipe this king. Red says we, we could try to aim everyone at Perp. Now, he's not saying this to everyone. He's only saying this to certain, pl certain players. Uh, Purple will be able to see yes. this in a moment. He's probably wondering where that king is, thinking maybe it's in the town center. We also have long swords attacking Yellow here. I feel pretty bad for Yellow, but this can happen in community games. Massive freaking 
gigantic navy, imp navy here for the Italian player Pungus. And Yellow's going to try and make his way to the middle. Hasn't really said too much. Probably just distracted. Hard to chat and play at the same time. So we'll see if Yellow can rebound or if anyone's going to help him. Teal's talking to Gray right now. Gray had asked if help is needed. And Teal's like, no, I'm good. I'm just kind of booming. And Blue is asking Green who's, who they're attacking. Green's not sure. And yeah, so anyways, Purple still the big bully here. And he's second score, too. Right? Like, he is, he's really playing well. But Yellow's not going anywhere just yet. Yellow will be able to survive this. Honestly, for me, Age of Empires 1 will remain the best in terms of graphics, idea, and everything. Uh, yeah, that, that's cool, man. There's there's nothing wrong. Like, I think, uh, you know, I, I think it's important to... Like, I, I think Age of Empires 1 is a good game, right? But there's absolutely nothing wrong with us disagreeing on that. And I hope you keep playing the game. And I hope the community grows and does well. So, I think a lot of it, too, is nostalgia. It's what you played the most. And, oh, wow, we had Orange turning on purple now. And so he's clearly not a fan of the fact that Yellow has been cleared out of his island. So, there, still, there are people talking about attacking Purple. Okay? Purple now says to Orange, not a nice boy. Now... I'm a little concerned for Orange in the long run because Orange didn't get some crucial blacksmith upgrades. And Yellow has been able to stay alive. Still has two TCs producing villagers here. The economy is decent. Making crossbowmen as well. I know you're up against Malians, so it could be a problem with the archers, but it's something. Purple, by the way, needs to get somewhere safe in the mainland with the king. King is in one of those transport ships, and he sees the writing is on the wall that he could lose his main base. But that's not it, guys. He could also lose all of this economy on the shoreline. We have paladins inside of these stables for FLK. Red's Eco's over 150. Gray's is at 150. Teal's is at 150. We've got some massive economies. Look at the stockpiles. 6k gold for red right now. 7k gold for teal. This is pretty insane. Um, green says, Gray, how are you feeling about teal? He's top scoring close, which is true. And Gray's like, I think we're, we're good with him, at least for the time being. Sorry, Yellow, I have no land units yet. I love Orange. Anyone else really appreciate Orange? Orange is trying. I think, you know, he's he's definitely struggling to keep up with how crazy this is, but he absolutely has tried his best here. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe he's just not aware. I'd like to see him try and use his Navy to hit purple where it counts, but he might do that. I mean, Yellow's going to do that. Hmm. Yellow hasn't received a lot of help. Orange truly cares. Look at this army count right now, and that's what we're going to switch to. Blue, he isn't in the top three even of army. But he's got Mangadai. He's also going Galleon. And guys, king positions are very interesting. We have four kings on their starting islands, and then four kings in the middle right now. This is a problem for Yellow. Someone needs to save Yellow. Because Malian champions have eight pierce armor. So the crossbows are going to be doing one damage. They the call these things champ scarls for a reason. Yellow will die. And if yellow's running when he dies, if he's close to somebody in the middle, there will be an explosion. Which could affect that person. Now yellow is saying need help, but he's only saying need help to orange and to red. I mean, last I checked, red had the resources, but red is just, red doesn't care. Look, well, look at the fishing ships. I don't think Red cares. I think he's just like, give me the trade. Now, he is now making a declaration, so maybe I'll be proven wrong. He says, everyone. Perp attacking for no reason. Purple's probably like, this is a war game, man. What do you mean, no reason? Gray says, I see that too. King is in there, by the way. King is going to need to get a move on. 
That is a very satisfying clang. And Purple says, We was not a nice boy, Brownie Face. And it's true, you're not being very nice to Yellow. Notice how Teal isn't even protecting him, though? Like, everyone's... They don't want to get their hands dirty here. I think we should do something. Bro, last I checked, you had 10k gold. Okay, Orange is the only one who truly cares about Yellow. And he's here. We'll see if the king goes down here. We'll see if Yellow can run away with this. I feel very bad for Yellow. Conversations are happening about other things right now. Not necessarily about Yellow's life. And Yellow dies. Now, when he dies, there will be an explosion. Yellow will lose most of his buildings. Obviously, unimportant to him at this point. Teal says, oh, damn. Dude, don't even. <laughs> he, he was right there. But it's good, Diplo. Orange feels bad about this. He did try. And the explosion will not actually damage Purple that much. In the end, you might consider this worth it. Red says it's getting serious. Purple apologizes. But, I mean... That is... Again, we're just going to see this be a massive target on Purple's back. Orange is angry. And Purple says, I will need your res. That's why. That's fair. I suppose. Yeah, Yellow, I think, was a little overwhelmed by the situation. Could have just sent that king directly into Purple's base. Then Purple could be dead as well. So, I want to still keep tabs on what people are up to. This is where you could see transports. Look at Gray. Walling in the starting islands. We have trade cogs for trade. You and me to the finals, says Purple to Teal. And Teal says, sure. I'm not seeing any funky business. It doesn't look like transporting of, like, petards or anything will happen here. And Red says, hey, Orange, need any help with purple? And Orange says, nah, I think I got him, to be honest. Oh, wow, the confidence. Again, Red, last I checked, he has 12,000 gold. And let's see if Teal is going to be true to his word to Purple about being friends. Because if that's the case, Teal should absolutely defend here. And that is going to happen. And Arn says, uh-oh, Teal is here. And this is... Yeah, there's just no way that anyone right now can handle Teal and Purple on their own. And Purple's pumped. Pumped to have a teammate. Pumped to have someone that's maybe as aggressive as him. That is 60 Paladins. And Teal and Purple are now together. And Orange says it's not looking good. I mean, Orange could lose his entire base. I appreciate the confidence, but even before against Purple, I would have said, yeah, I need some help. There's something happening here, guys, which doesn't happen a lot, but I, I want to talk about it. So people will strategically let their team die sometimes, like, because they want to make it to the end, right? So they will... Be like, oh, yeah, I'm here for you, bro. I'm here for you. Love you. And they won't really show up. They won't really send aid. That's an intentional thing, right? And um, occasionally, sometimes, that happens too much. And then the top players win because there's not enough people to go against them. And we'll see if that ends up happening here. Uh, Tincho, I will not be casting uh, Argentina Brazil. I'm sure there will be... Plenty of people covering it elsewhere. Sorry about that. We're going to stick to community games here. I will be casting uh, Canada and Finland tomorrow, though. They basically, red and blue and green and gray, they need to band together, right? Watch out. His navy says gray. And gray seems to be on Team Teal. It's like, I think he's a little scared to go against the guy because the guy's so strong, which makes sense. And he feels like his best chance is to get to the later stages of the game. If he gets to the later stages of the game, then maybe he could worry about Teal then. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, Blue. He's probably thinking about the player he wanted to talk about. Okay? Um, and he said, To Teal. He's trying to speak to Red about Teal. He says, can make camels against Teal Pal if needed, by the way, Red. 
Let me know if he becomes a threat. So basically, he just said to the enemy, I'm getting ready for you. But he thinks his teammate has heard that and that he's being sneaky. Whoops. Whoops. Um. Anyways, here's Orange. Orange is here with Navy. Now, Orange has added cannon galleons too. So he could actually start to range uh, castles and buildings from the shoreline, which is something that I think that Teal is currently underestimating. We'll see if players end up adding Navy in support of that. Currently, it seems like Orange is the only one who's doing that. Um, Red says Teal and Perp stop. And he now turns, but also at the same time, Orange turned on Red? Why? Avalid says, I think Green wants to kill you. He says that to Gray and also to Blue. Which might be to stir some things up here. But I'm trying to figure out exactly how things are panning out here and why certain things are happening. The red has just enemy purple. Purple announcing that now. Red still sitting at a healthy 13,000 gold. Gray 12k. 11k then for Teal as well. I mean, they're just stacked for resources. The trading on water is such a good decision. Uh, it's so smart from them to have done that. Also, I think Blue will have the best army composition on land. I'm not sure if we'll have Siege. Yeah, Siege Onager with the camels with Mangadai is just so good. Here come those cannon galleons. There's no real answer to the navy from Orange if he keeps it all together. Green says I'm ready with Cav Archers. And Red now, like, he did a lot of sitting back and waiting. And now, I mean, Teal has brought the fight to him. Now, Blue had offered some support. We'll see if that support comes. But I am noticing that Red is missing some upgrades here. So I think banking the resources for Red was probably just to be as safe as possible. Um, players will do that if they, you know, maybe think they'll miss out on some upgrades or struggle a little bit in the long term. We know Teal's the higher ranked player. We know Purple's the higher ranked player. Red needs help here, despite that gold count. And blue is going to come over. He says the top two players are taking us out one by one. I, I love how red has done a lot of all chat. Because there have has been a lot of times where um, players are just talking to their neighbors. And they haven't been talking to everyone. The fact that red has done that is really going to change this game, I think. It's really important. So gray is protecting Teal's other flank, or at least trying to. Teal has just notified Purple that that's the case. Uh, Orange is winning this engagement, though, and the Cannon Galleons are still on the way. Camels and Halbs are counter units against Paladins. I could see, see Teal start to have some problems here. And Blue says to Green, because remember, Blue and Green aren't fighting now. I think Teal is with Perp. I could take out some of his army with my Camels. So yeah, um, you know, Green is happy to wait. Green did say he's ready with his Cav Archers. He wanted to get to Magyar late game. Here he is with Cav Archers. Magyar Cav Archers are sick. You know what else is sick, though? Getting bloodlines for them. <laughs> because he hasn't done that yet. <laughs> Stable upgrades do help here. He should have 80 HP on these bad boys, but the attack is still going to be beautiful. Hopefully the lack of HP won't be an issue. Um, oh, oh! The Cannon Galleons are currently attacking Orange's castle, uh, Teal's castles, excuse me. And I don't know where the king will go, but it will be exposed. Meanwhile, Purple's making a wonder on what used to be Yellow's Island. This guy really knows how to put a target on his back. Oh my god. Okay, the king has gone into the next castle. He had set the galley point, the, the rather, rally point there. I'm not sure if this castle will go down. Um, red is a little upset about the situation. Green is like, let's do this. We can kill Teal. And like I said before, I'm, I'm a little concerned for Teal. Because he's going to lose Eco to this Navy. Purple says, don't talk behind my back. Dang, lots of chat right now. But if, I mean, if this castle goes down, Teal's king might be out in the open and there's Cav Archers. That said, Teal is 83 Paladins. And these Cav Archers only have 60 HP, but there's Mangadai and there's also Camels. Yes. This fight should not be one that is won 
spiked heal. Assuming the unit control is correct. And uh-oh, Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom, get out of there, buddy. Just back up. Gray is actually going to defend the water here. So this castle will still stand for teal. The wonder continues to go up. You could win with the wonder here if you're purple. And I think he's realizing he's going to need docks. He's got heavy demos everywhere, just waiting for navy to come in. That navy might be coming from orange. Mm. Teal is... I mean, he's got a lot to focus on right now. And there's a lot of units that should kill him here. I mean, even Kamiyooks from Grey are out. Though Grey, I guess, is supposed to defend him right now. That's kind of interesting. The fact that Grey is defending against orange, but not against anyone else. I mean, purple is not even helping either, right? Purple is just going for the win. Purple is trying to win on his own right now. And then Gray is asking Orange for peace. So everyone's not really backing Teal's play at all. Everyone going for their own win conditions here. Uh, I think Orange didn't notice this. Orange says, I don't think I can say no. Purple is asking for wood, Teal sending it. That wood is going towards his own defense. It is not to save you. But he does say he's going to come help. Gray has just declared war on Teal. So he was defending him and now he turns on the guy. Wow, I mean, he is trading with the other players. If they just had Trebs here... And Teal was losing the castles? This would be a very different situation. You need to take out his fortifications here, guys. Kamiooks, Camel, Cav Archers, Mangadite. It's just too many things going on here for Teal to hold on his own. And he's out of gold income. So he has a thousand gold in the bank. That'll disappear before you know it. Gray and Red have 17,000 gold banks. Also, Red, this is so risky, man. Having your king out in the open like this. Red and Orange are now allied again, so people who are enemies for a while are now becoming friends. But Purple! Purple's coming! Purple's gonna come! He's transporting! Oh boy. Now, does, what does he know? Did he research treason? He did, because you could see uh, that indicates that at some point he, know, he knew where the king was. Orange is currently trying to, like, he's saying, sorry, it was an accident. I did this, I did that. To red because he accidentally enemied him he's got some big problems but he sees this now and the villagers are like no you shall not take our king we will die for our leader and they are sacrificing themselves and the king is now in a transport ship and purple maybe looking for that may research treason again here it is costly but it's maybe worth it but he does not see the king anymore he doesn't see a flag great job from orange to notice that and uh, Teal says, I have my king in your castle to purple right now because he's losing his base. And blue is trying to get red to go for purple. It feels like purple and Teal will slowly die. Red, blue, and gray have trade. They are my top three. While they may not be top three in the game. Orange is a bit of a, a wild card. Purple does still have the wonder on the way. He's not building it with max villagers, which is also ill-advised because it takes so long to build the wonder. It's unlikely you'll win if you give the others more time. And Teal says, I'm just dead now, so tell me who I nuke. And Purple says, no, I help you. Well, can you help him? I don't know if you can. I think there's too much army out here. I think anything that you send gets smashed. Yes, you have high pierce armor champions, but the cab archers do... 12 damage at 12 damage so you still just get it you're just melting i don't think malian champions are going to accomplish much but i appreciate purple spirit also orange is bringing his king this way actually orange has no land control right now that's that's something that i kind of forgot to mention okay purple says nuke because he sees this he knows what that could mean but I don't think Orange is ready to give up yet. Well, actually, he doesn't have a lot. He's got his navy and he's got a king. He also has no castle to research trees in. He could see the Wonder Foundation. He doesn't know where Purple's king is. 
but he could see that these others are making progress. But he's actually enemy to some of them? Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, he's kind of on his own. Okay. The king... No! Okay, the king is dead. The king was just killed by purple. There will be no explosion, which is huge for purple because this is already looking bad for him. Oh, poor Orange was typing. <laughs> In that moment, guys, he was typing, do you know where Purple's King is? Oh. <laughs> the chat screen was up. <laughs> oh. Well, it's okay. They're going to find Purple's King. And Teal is going to go bomb somebody. But Blue had units in the middle. Okay. So Teal is dead. Gray also landed him. That's pretty sick. Uh, Teal is dead. There will be an explosion here. We might see a lot of camels die. So if you're a camel out there, you might not want to watch this. This might be very painful for you. Overall, the explosion is actually pretty safe for the players that are remaining. Blue's obviously going to lose the buildings and the castle, which hurts. Not as bad as it could be. The wonder for purple, as he is on the brink of defeat, has gone up. If I'm purple, I try and bring my king to my wonder. And defend it with everything I've got. Because there's not many players with navy right now. And <laughs> Teal says at least they got his camels. Yeah, well played, Teal. Gray, blue, and green. These three players, they have been in really good positions. Red as well is in a sneaky good position. I guess they got to wait. They got to finish off purple and see how it goes. Purple says to gray... And he says to Red, should we take green and blue? And Red says, no. Yeah, they're not going to let this slide. He's like, why? Because <laughs> you will wonder, bro. <laughs> stop, stop trying to distract him. <laughs> Red explains it. <laughs> Red's so emotional. I love it. Purple, you were literally against everyone. <laughs> why is Gray's ship on lands? Where is it? Uh, the answer is they... They broke the game with the most recent patch. That has happened a lot. Yesterday, I had crossbows go through my opponent's walls and into their base, which was very good for me, but I deleted them because I felt bad. Where is the ship? You are literally against everyone. Purple says, I'm so nice, man. Red goes, and you destroyed my peaceful farms. And then he probably said something which was fine, but the game doesn't like it, so the game just went... <laughs> um, so yeah. Land ship on top left of Big Islands. Oh, there you go. Yep, it was probably a patrol. Uh, the patrols can bug and, and glitch through everything at this point. Um, I had a manga die in a tournament game in King of the Desert. Uh, glide across the map. So I don't know how to describe this. So like, let's say I have four manga die here. I patrol them, which is what I did. I had one of them just keep sliding through my opponent's base. And the shots... From the Mangadai, kept firing at a building which was next to my other group of Mangadai. Just just went across the entire map. <laughs> it actually benefited me too because I got to see he had a wood line on the other side then because of that. Anyways, Purple says, Hel help me, Gray. You and me can do this. Now, Gray's already talking about taking out Purple, so I don't think that that would be a good deal. Hmm... Green, you with me. Great. Constantly checking to make sure he's got someone ha having his back. And blue's going to go cannon galleons. Yeah, they need navy over here. Yes. But they are wasting a lot of time. And it's not that wise from purple to still have the king on land, in my opinion. I think... Well, I mean, his population is, is actually probably better than most right now. And his rank is better than most. So he might actually be able to hold for a bit. Shout out to the Manganel from three years ago that backed itself from the corner of the map while still firing. Yeah, so that's the that's basically the bug that is currently back in the game, this vault, but it hasn't happened with Siege yet. And the reason that backed itself into a corner is because the person didn't notice it, so never corrected it. Because when you notice it, you could stop, and then it just gets stuck wherever. Or in this case, it was a patrol glitch, and it stopped when it no. found something to attack. <clears throat> um... T90, did you see the Facebook post from Age of Empires team a couple of hours ago? No, I was streaming. Um, I do know the Return of Rome DLC is coming, though. 
Oh, wow. Red made it here with some pointy boys. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can make some content with it. I, as I said before, Age of Empires 1 isn't my biggest jam, so I'm not sure if that's necessarily down my alley, but I have to check it out. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait a second. Age community, your feedback for Return of Rome has been heard. After careful consideration, the new Roman Civ will join ranks you in Age of Empires 2 DE. Oh, what? What? Oh, boy. Well, balance is going to be interesting if that's actually the case. Uh, I've... <laughs> You guys know what some of the DLCs were like when we were all able to give feedback behind the scenes? And we had zero feedback into any of that because they weren't planning on it. And I guess a lot of people were upset about it and they were worried that people weren't by the DLC. So, woo! That'll be interesting. I'm hesitantly excited for it. Uh, it depends on when it comes out, right? It depends on when they're, how they implement it. We'll see how the implementation is. Oh, it says in the future. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So they're saying it's not when it comes out. They're going to... Gotcha. Dang. Yeah, Hazemi, I'm aware I'm part of the group, but I chose to do community games instead of previewing the DLC today. Which I hope has been good for people. I've been enjoying myself. Green says I have no gold. Is that really the case? That's true. Green doesn't have gold. I mean, I, it surprised me because green has been in the middle here of everyone else trading. So, could eventually get gold with more. We have not seen a massive attempt, really, to kill purple? Like, well, okay, I mean, they're making some progress here. But, I guess blue is transitioning into water. Red's gonna try and help out here as well. Purple could actually win this, guys. Let me look at purple stockpiles. Purple's got gold. Purple's got lots of production buildings. It, it's maybe possible. It's a 224 years. Hmm. Um, ascending galleons to you, blue. Okay, so I was wondering if there would be galleon support here for the uh, cannon galleons, because you can't just have cannon galleons on their own. I think purple will struggle to defend from the land attacks. Where these guys aren't using any siege, which is really slowing things down, but also then the navy. So, hard map to play. They're trying to get their act together. Gray is now turned on purple as well. So purple's now all alone. Uh, we expected this to happen a long time ago. I expected this to happen much earlier than it has now. But it, it was always inevitable, I think, based on how things were. We're playing out. Uh, blue now turning on orange and yellow who are already out of the game. Just to take care of any leftover ships or buildings possibly. Not a big deal, obviously. Here we have some micro, some teamwork. Cannon galleons do a little bit more damage versus ships now. I think it's like the blast radius has been changed with the recent patch, which is really cool. Uh, overall, really good fight for purple though. Um, but I think he just doesn't have the numbers. King's Refuge being attacked by Purple. Gray making move on water. But I didn't notice the move here on land. And that King is so close. So exposed. He's got to last 190 years here to be able to win with that Wonder. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, Varian. But we'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see how it goes. I, I think... Um, I think it's, it's fair to say... And I'm not trying to be diplomatic here... Well, first off, Purple has forgotten where his king is. So that's a problem. But for the whole, like, DLC thing, I think it's fair to say that they... It seems a little scattered in how they're rolling this out, right? For people to be confused initially on how things are going to work and then find out later how things are going to work and then them backtracking what they originally said, all that stuff. Seems a little scattered. I think that's fair to say Purple's been scattered. Purple was scattered from the start. He just wanted war and he's dead. The wonder goes down... And now we have four players who are remaining and have a lot of respect for each other, I believe. Um, you know, Gray always 
you know, always interested in finding out who's buddy buddy, right? Remember, he kind of backstabbed Teal, which ended up being a good move. He realized what direction he needed to take it diplomatically. Red and blue were talking before. Green hasn't been as chatty with others, but was chatty before. And blue says, Green, I'm better friends with you than anyone else. Are you? Question mark. Does that mean are you friends with me? And green says, let's do it, bro. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Blue says, right after that, red, I'm better friends with you than anyone else. Oh. And red says, okay. So he says that to two people, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Should we attack anyone, though? Well, green has just proposed gray, so I wonder if blue's going to say, let's do gray. Red, let's go gray. Yeah, so <laughs> gray, whose color is gray and his name is gray, is going to get 3v1'd here. <laughs> oh, God. Green, you are not inspiring confidence here, bro. Yeah, I guess he didn't respond to him. Yeah, gray realizes this is a little too quiet. And Red says, yeah, man, the, the sentence is awesome. The spelling, though, this is rough, but I'll work with it. He says, my loyalty is hereby yours, and if we are last two, I let yes. you have it. Wow. Green going to leave the middle. What a smart decision. Well, you don't have Navy, so that might not be too smart, but I understand he realizes a lot's going to happen there. Red says, good for YouTube. All right. I'm going to vote against Green winning. He has less trade. Um, he said he doesn't have gold. He doesn't have bloodlines on his cav archers. These are all some crucial things. He's working with blue for now. Excuse me. Yes. Gray. He says one sec. Is he? Does yes. he realize they're all talking about him right now? He says one sec. Go. Oh, that would have been a pause. Okay. That was most likely him pausing in game. Uh, green what about we backstab blue after gray and i will hand it to you red is trying to backstab blue but he doesn't know that blue's already kind of backstabbing him in green gray had to go pee okay so there was a pee break we witnessed yeah green is 105 army and also has uh you know pretty crazy crap cab archers Green says intriguing. Now yes. blue is trying to talk. And they're going to make a move against gray. Now, sad thing for gray here is if he wants to, um, you know, make somebody pay for this, it's going to be really hard because, well, hold on. There's not a lot of Navy here, actually. I guess he could transport. Gray says, so what's the plan now? Gray wasn't in anyone's plans, really, unless they you count planning to kill him. Red now says, I told Green I backstab you, so he doesn't ally Gray. Okay, so Red really big braining it here and explaining what he said. Gray says, Red, you with me. And now Red responds by enemying him. So I don't know what the realization is here for Gray, right? Like, there's a part of him which probably wants to get the win. But this is pretty bad, and you could try and talk your way out of it, or you could just try and make someone explode. <laughs> he is fighting on land here, though. So it's not like he's just sitting back and letting this happen. But there's no king in that castle. So that's going to be a castle down for blue, and that's pretty much the extent of it. Gray's going to lose everything else. Uh, we'll see this castle go down. I think Gray was... a maybe lacked a little bit of assertiveness at times just hey guys who are we with not hey you're with me we're doing this let's do this just kind of proposing the ideas uh, as, as more of like a question than anything and gray is gonna try and talk his way out of this so it's a 1v3 now and then a 1v2 i wonder who the lucky 1v2 guy is gonna be so he's trying to turn them against each other and each player might think they're in a good position when that 1v2 rolls around, but I'm not sure what that's, what's going to happen there. 
Red says me. Red also sends resources to green. And Gray's like, well, if, if you think you're going to be the one, then why not, you know, help me out? I think the answer is, Gray, you don't offer anything to them right now. You offer a dock to green to trade with. But you don't... You, Red's the worst person to ally with you right now, actually, because he's on the other side of the map. Really hard to, to work uh, with somebody at this stage. And so, again, you have to decide on how you want to finish this. You have a king which can explode. Will you let it sink to the bottom of the ocean like Orange accidentally did? <laughs> um, or are you going to work to get that bad boy to somebody's base? Oh my god, wait a second, guy. Guys, Gray has 31k gold. What? Andy has 10k wood. So, he's not dead. In fact, if he goes full navy, the others have so much population on uh, land that he could survive for a very long time. And then green could die because green... Wait, where's the actual king? The green's king is in the TC... Oh. Oh, boy. This game's going to go on for a bit. Yep, yep. Gray's going to be able to get to, like, 100-some Navy because he doesn't have eco population now, right? He's at uh, 53 military, and he's at 59 eco. Okay, so he's going to go up to 140 military, and that's all going to be Navy. Red says, I have no navy right now. Now, Incas get cannon galleons, right? Or they want to... I'm trying to remember if everyone gets it. I feel like there's one or two civs that... I think in the past didn't get it, and I think they made the decision to give everyone it. Blue says, who's going navy? Red's like, you guys do it. And Gray says, Gray is motivated now. He says, so let's see now that I am almost dead. Who gets snitched on next? And Red's like, no one, Gray. So, Mezzo don't get Cannon Galleons. Okay. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I just wanted to verify that was the case. So, if they don't, that that will hurt Gray's chances of sniping people. Gray says, keep dreaming. Red says, you underestimate the power of friendship. And Gray says, I'll just build 200 population navy. Not like you don't have res. Yup. Green, that is your invitation to get the, get off of this. I He's making a transport. <laughs> Green, leave. <laughs> leave now. <laughs> Green, where is it going? Oh, no. Oh, God. That was your escape vessel. I honestly agree with, with what Lars just said in chat. Make a wonder, Gray. Everyone's already against you anyways. Go for a wonder. But maybe you don't want to do it until you're like taking out their their docks or something. A smart player would resign, Gray. Oh, Red, what are you doing? You're just making him more stubborn. Oh, no, you're motivating him more. I love the chat. It makes things more interesting here for us. Why would I resign with 29k food, 35k gold, and 15k wood? Is he being accurate here? Is he being honest? Okay, the wood count's incorrect. Maybe he queued up some ships. He says, I'd rather have 200 pop navy. Now, I think... Like, the eco count for blue is, is really insane. Um, you're at a point now, especially since you're kind of running out of wood. That might be considered too much eco. Red says, blue, could you transport my waddies to his island, please? And if only he had cannon galleons. That sucks so much that he can't make cannon galleons. All these buildings would be going down. I think Blue's going to try and come on water. Anyways, I wonder how long the bond between you three will last and who will break first. I wonder. I like it. Just pour it on. But, you know, in a game where Purple has already attempted a wonder victory, Ray, I think, should be doing it. If you can't push their base with cannon galleons, you're basically only making yourself really hard to kill. 
Wonder is the way to go here, Gray. Your king's on the island, too. Anyways, does he see any of this? Mm, he could notice it now. Blue says, lol, if we all go navy, of course you don't stand a chance. Well, here's the deal. Like, they're not going to get this guy to resign. He's top scoring, he's got tons of res, and he's got tons of navy. That's just not... It's his first community game ever. People wait months or years to get into these things. He's not going to resign with res. He's going to fight. Also, he's got vills on the mainland here. So, you really, you guys really got to sort out your population issues, and you have to get to his side, and he notices you now. So, yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't think the transport idea is going to work at all. And I, there, it might seem stupid right now for Gray to, like, kind of get them to turn against each other, but there are points in these games where people genuinely just get stuck, and they can't attack the guy they want to attack, so they attack somebody else. Red says, guys, I go distraction, navy, and then we transport. Dude, transport, trying to transport units across here is going to be such a disaster. That it's not going to work, man. <laughs> there's walls, there's towers, there's navy. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. What? Green is a legend. Green is a legend. What? Well, he's not going to kill the king. Oh, God, you forgot your petards. <laughs> Oh, it's not gonna work, guys. It's such a stupid idea. Why would you ever try that here? It's so dumb. Uh, that's why. That's why. He just lost 20 pop. The good news, Green, is that uh, that frees up population space for Navy if you would like to consider it. But that was painful. Okay, we're gonna go round two. Alrighty. We learned that horses can't swim the first time. But we don't have as many gunpowder barrel dudes. So here we go. Just keep the try in here, green. See if it works this time. Just fill her up. Well, the trade... Did the trade go down or is it just not here right now? Because the trade blocking is what did it. I think the trade went down. Oh, wait, no. It's all the way over here. Okay. Mm. Blue is massing galleons to eventually fight back. Mongols do get cannon galleon. This is why Gray should have a wonder. Yeah, Gray has no way of winning if he doesn't try the wonder victory. And it, it might be too late for that because they're, they're figuring it out now. Green is really waiting for those last two petards. Mm. I don't know, man. The towers do a lot of damage versus the transports once he did shot us in. Oh, God, is the trade coming back? Oh, no, be fast with the green. <laughs> be fast with it. The trade is coming back. No. <laughs> no. Okay, it's full. He's going to go in now, but the trade is here. Gray says, I'm going to give you all one last chance. He's like, trying to get them to backstab each other. No, the trade is back. No, not the trade. Oh, he's going to go a different direction this time. Because last time it didn't work here. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, right? Because you don't know where there are towers. Okay. He did shot in chats, is now I'm not useless. Okay. All right. Let's go. Greg can't see that. Uh, but he will see it in a second. If he just patrols, that'll be a dead transport, and that's 20 more units that are going to sink. I imagine Green's doing something else at the moment. Um, oh, okay, they were saved. Very well played. Very nice save. I'm sure they're very grateful for that. Great. Has res over here, and he says, I see you, Green. He's chopping wood, at least. He still has trade. Who is he trading with right now? Oh, well, red found the trade. Okay, he's trading with uh, purple or yellow. And green says, I can't find a snipe. Sorry, guys. Got to move along here. What's the new plan? Well, <laughs> they, they someone needs to delete their land units, and no one's willing to do that. <laughs> no, no one wants to do that. It's a pop space issue. The army count for red and green and blue are great, but it's land units. 
you would have to delete 60 Mangadai and 60 Wodes and then both come onto water. Which is why Gray needed a wonder! He could have, the wonder would have been completed by now. It's a thousand wood, a thousand stone, a thousand gold. That's nothing for these resources, man. He could buy the stone ten times over. Run red like the coward you are. <laughs> I love Gray. I mean, he should have 100% built a wonder. But he really is annoyed by the fact that they turned on him here, and he is letting them hear it. <laughs> oh, this is what he's talking about. He's killing Red's navy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gray's done a really nice job. He's kept his trade alive. And he's denied docks. But, I mean... Come on, man. I guess he's 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 basically thinking. Sorry, there's a plug in here. Um, I guess he's basically thinking, you know, I, I might not win, but I'm gonna make sure it takes you guys a long time to win. But by the way, pro tip: gather enough resources, everyone. Don't spend too much on me. You gotta fight two more after this. <laughs> Gray. Oh my God! And Red's gonna clap back. He says, "Pro tip for you, Gay Gray." Just resign. So this is the second time that Red has said resign. He says, you're dead already. Dang. I just want to see green and blue resign. And I want to see red and gray fight in the ultimate duel with lots of trash talk. This is, this is crazy, man. Am I now? You wish. <laughs> you wish. I mean, Gray is never going to be killed because the others are not getting to the pop space of, of Navy they need. Okay, Red is now. I Don't ask me how. I guess, did he delete Wodes? Oh, he did. He, he had like 100 Wodes. So he's killing what's left of Gray on land, chopping wood. Um, They've all been notified. And Red is now making Navy. Now, Kelt Navy is pretty bad because they lack an upgrade, so that hurts. Gray still got way more, but that's a start. And Gray says, I am on other islands too. Oh man, he's really getting in their head. I am not stupid. I keep my people sparse. Okay. Dreen says, time to mix it up. Wait, wait, wait. He says that. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. He says that to us. He said... He says that to us. He doesn't say that to anybody. And this is the point in the game, which I mentioned before happens, where people just realize the player they try need to try and kill, they can't. So they want to do something different. Blue is thinking I'm against gray. Red is thinking I'm against gray. Gray is thinking I'm against the world. And green thinks, we've got to do something here because this is really going on a little bit too long for me. I've got to get to bed on time tonight. So here he goes. He's got his petards moving. There are multiple castles garrisoned. Which one will he go to? Oh. He's not going for blue. Whoa. He's going for the obvious one. The one red castle that has a flag. Now, remember when blue reached out to both green and red and offered friendship forever? That might have saved blue right here. Or the fact he's got a villager in one of those castles might have saved him, because Green knows how risky this is. Red is the only one trying to go after Gray with Navy, too. This is really good for Gray. And Green turns, and the king... It dies! Red is dead! And, and Blue's trying to talk to what he thought was his team and says, Guys, I have an idea. Wait, what? And there's going to be an explosion, too. And this is going to damage Blue. It's going to take out his land trade. It's going to take out his castles. And Grace is so 1v2 now? Green admits it. He says, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I love that from Tom. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. <laughs> My hands are covered in blood. <laughs> Red blood. Oh, that was so good. 
I love you, Green. <laughs> but you just made Gray's chances of winning so much better. And Blue's going to make a wonder. Blue's going to be the first to do it. Okay, great. This should be like an oh crap moment. I need to do this. You need to do the same, my friend. You need to do the same. Okay, let's see what happens now. And Gray is now building a wonder. So he forgot about it. Guys, it's so important you build with max villagers. This is a wonder race. This is everything. Blue doesn't have more vills here. Blue has 14 vills. Gray has... Uh... Oh, he's making more and he's got 27. Gray's gonna win the wonder race. Gray's gonna win the wonder race. And Red was the only one that had navy. And he's dead. And what in the world? And Blue said, uh, Green, just get Gray to come to focus on land. Well, that's never going to happen now because you gave him the wonder idea. And Green says, I'd love to, but I don't see him leaving his little treehouse. Very true. <laughs> oh, but the wonder. Yes, you have to go to Gray now. Gray was 1v3. He was confident and he let the other team know. And now they don't have the percentages we do, by the way. The only thing they will have is the HP. So if you're in Gray's position, you see that, and you could click it and see. Um, so I don't think they actually realize that Gray's Wonder is going to go up first here. And Blue says, I don't think I have enough villagers, though. Which means that Gray is the favorite to win this game. Now, it would take a long time. So, I don't know, maybe Green will get bored and try and kill Blue at some point, but the fact of the matter is, they need to band together here, and they need to get on water. Now, like, Blue's got, uh, where's the resources, sorry. They both don't actually have a ton of resources to be able to go for Navy. Like, it's doable to mass a big Navy, but it's not going to feel good to delete your Mangadai in order to have to do that. I really think that Gray's got this one, though. And Gray, by the way, still trading and defending his trade against purple ships? Okay. But he's still trading, so he's still getting golden come because of Yellow's dock over here. I wonder how Red feels right now. Red, great game, by the way. I didn't have a time, uh, really have the time to say much. I loved your chat in this one. Green, I mean, he, he ruined... His own chance of stopping Gray the second he killed you. The wonder's gonna go up here for a second. And he says, shame, really. Thanks for the idea, though. Oh, man, this is getting deep. This is almost getting uncomfortably, like, personal here in these games. But that's exactly what happened. He's like, yeah, you gave me the idea. He's letting him know about it. Because, you know, he was the odd man out. It was three people against him. They said, screw you. They told him to resign. And Blue's laughing. He can't believe it. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Well, 344 years. That countdown is on their screens now. And Blue's will be in a second as well. They would need to go Navy to have any chance. <clears throat> And they do not have the trade income Gray has. Because he was very resourceful over here. And Blue says, where is Gray's king? Well, where do you think it is, my friend? It is next to the wonder that you can see. And Green says, just says, island, many, many towers. And Gray says, it's on the island, just ask me. I'll tell you. That might be... Him expecting them to go for his king as well. So, yeah, I mean, um, you need to, you have some time. You need to go navy. The docks are there for green. So, I don't think sneaky is the way to do it here. I think you, uh, you have to just spend your res from the docks that you already have. Red being here would be so nice because red actually died with 30. 3,000 gold in the bank. <laughs> Dude, Gray is... He's, he's really chatting here. Oh, Doc. Want to go Navy now, do we? 
And blue says green, we gotta go navy. We do arena king after. Well, need to delete land army. Yeah. A realization that I think they could have come to a little bit faster, possibly. Yeah, this is a ship on land. This has been bugged here for a long time. Very clearly hacking. That's the only reason he's winning. Oh, green says you first. Oh my god, I'd never... Green doesn't trust blue. Oh my god. Green is petards here. Blue, with a genuine concern here, is like, hey, listen, we need to kill that wonder, right? We just gotta delete our land army. And green won't do it. Because he sees Blue sitting here with Rams and Mangadai. And Green knows he, he really can't be trusted himself because he already killed Red. Oh, boy. Okay, he says, I'll delete my land army, yes. then you can kill me, but you'll still lose to Grey because you won't be able to 1v1 him on water. And Green says, fair. Okay, so that's Blue trying to say, just don't kill me. And, okay, Rams have been deleted. And Mangadai... <laughs> I mean, he really... Oh, God, he's deleted everything. How many resources do you have? Okay, he does have a lot. He does actually have a lot. What about docks? Like, don't even try the sneaky docks. Just, yeah, just use the docks you have. Okay, he could mass 200 galleons. And he gets access to cannon galleon. This is not over yet. And Gray expects a last-ditch attack. Now, the problem for Gray is that the opposition can field 400 population against his 200. The good news for him is the towers are actually really going to help with delaying. It's a pop space issue. And Gray says, guess I'll build even more castles and towers then. Gray definitely... I hope I don't offend the guy when he rewatches this. This definitely gives me, like, arguments with my best friend growing up in the sixth grade vibes. Like the, oh, nice job. Well, I guess I'll just have to do this then. Just like the way he's wording things. Keep dreaming. Just like <laughs> the, the way he's chatting definitely gives me those vibes. Now this is rather, this is funny, actually. He says, I still wonder why, though, did Green betray me? I've always thought we'd be friends. Oh, that's interesting. I, I thought he was questioning why. <gasps> what? Green! You're doing it again! Blue doesn't have army anymore! You need blue or gray wins! And blue just says, this is stupid. And yeah, I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Because now gray definitely wins this game. <laughs> And green... <laughs> green says, I have a serious problem. <laughs> like an addict would say when they just couldn't help themselves kill a king. <laughs> Oh, I think green's just gonna give up here. <laughs> Someone just said deleting your army was stupid, Blue. No, I don't think so. I think Blue deleting his army was the correct play. Because he was gonna go contest green. He was gonna try kill gray. Green killing blue was stupid. Just like killing red was stupid. <laughs> but he just couldn't help himself because he wanted to get a king kill. But yeah, there's absolutely no way he does it now. I don't know what his plan is. I don't think he had a plan beyond just killing people. Yeah, Blue had to delete his army because he had to make tons of navy, which he's actually trying to do. Green is... He's got second place, right? But he's helpless now. And I, I feel like he maybe felt as though Grey couldn't be stopped and... Maybe just said, let's have a little fun. <laughs> I have a serious problem. Uh, like, But never have I seen someone do something so stupid so consistently and, and actually really enjoy it. Actually, that's not true. Uh, my cat has this little toy where we could put the treats in. And when there's no treats in it, sometimes he bops it. It's on this little, uh, this little spring thing. And it 
it comes back and it hits him right in the face constantly. He's pretty stupid. He does that a lot consistently. I really enjoy watching that. Anyways, Gray, I mean, Gray's got this game one. He says, you know, you got this green, go. And yeah, I mean, he's, green's just making more petards. He's just addicted to petards and king snipes. So I guess green is going to try attempts to snipe here. I mean, Gray has spread out his ships perfectly. His win condition is on his island. His king is on his island. But, you know, green's going to give it a shot. Um, we know how hopeless this really is. But <laughs> there go the petards across the map, just like slowly wondering. And remember, this is the player that didn't get bloodlines for any of his units, so probably doesn't have husbandry either. Even missing some armor on the Magyar Hustlers. There's just like some things here that definitely show there's some inexperience on Green's part compared to some of the other players that might have played. But... I, you know what I am surprised by? I am surprised they probably closed the game, I guess. I am surprised that we haven't seen blue and red like complain about this in the game chat. Sometimes people are defeated and they'll say stuff. And Gray is probably bored out of his mind right now. He says, this is why I don't like water maps. Cannon galleons, you can't even kill the enemy on water. Well, to be fair to you, you can't get... Um, Unfortunately, you just don't have a cannon galleon civilization, which really hurts. But we did establish you have the best tower. And the king is in that tower, so that's cool. Hmm. Well, it's been a chatty one. It's been an interesting one. Uh, it's been eventful. I think green will try one transport, and then when that doesn't work, just end up tapping out. I will not sit here until this wonder hits zero years, by the way. So this game ends one way or another soon. What the? Oh my god. Okay, he's got a lot of them. Actually, if you fill up, like, I don't know, six transports, some of them might land. Um, yeah, it's been a long game, but if Gray would have just made the wonder the second he started massing Navy, he would have won this game already, right? Blue, and it's pretty comedic that this happened this way. Blue reminded Gray that Wonder Victory was possible. Okay, where is Green going? Okay, so what you're telling me, Green, is you walked all the way here with petards and filled up one transport, then had the idea of, actually, that is really inefficient. Let's just go to the castle. So that's where he's going. Only there's still units going back to the original spot <laughs> on the shoreline. Got it. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, Blue says, thanks for the second chance at a comedy game, T90. GG, all super fun. Yeah, Blue uh, was killed off in an unfortunate manner earlier. Let him come back into a game. You're welcome. Thanks for being a good sport. <clears throat> this game at times got maybe a little more personal than I would want the Diplo to get. Uh, but people get emotional, man, especially when they're backstabbed. Where are you going here? Okay, so he's... Oh, okay. I thought he was picking these guys up. There's petards here as well. Dude, there is more petards from green than... than, like, anything else, really. <clears throat> when green reaches gray, the wonder timer will be done. Dude, but let's watch it from green's perspective, okay? So, from green... Oh, God. He could actually die. Oh, he's fleeing! He's fleeing because Gray's gonna kill him. Oh boy, that's not good. Um. <clears throat> oh god, no! We ran into the castle. Okay, he didn't lose the transport ship that has all the units in it, though. <laughs> I love Green's energy. I I really do. I I understand that there's a lot wrong with certain things that have happened, but I just I gotta respect it. And he's like, imagine I kill his king. Right before the wonder timer. Oh, 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 no, please. The king is moving. He's doing that at the same time, because he knows Grey was coming for it. And... Yeah. 
So does he try again? Does he just say, well, maybe I should call it quits? His king is coming to the mainland now. He does still have a lot of petards. We have a hundred years. See if the transport tries to make its way to the shoreline where the petards are, or if he can even find the petards. Feels like a good moment to call the GG. Green doesn't want to. He doesn't want to kill himself like he killed other people. Um, I'm gonna actually speed up a little bit because we are behind live time. Because I believe this one is over. I think Green's gonna. Oh, he's just gonna let it happen. There you go. He knows there's no way. And bam. Bam. Woo! Great game. I think Gray owes Green a big thank you. Um, and I think that thank you is because Green killing Red and then Green killing Blue are big reasons why Gray ended up surviving in this game. I know that the, at one point Green and Gray were friends, and Gray noted that he was upset why Green. He, he was curious why Green ended up turning on him. Um, again, in the end, Gray, you do owe Green a bit for at least not coming back to your side, but giving you some assistance there in clearing off the other players. Um, it was a good game. Um, we had some good quotes in this one. Uh, we had some painful memories too, right? Like Yellow getting cleared off early. It was a long game, so. It, Kind of forgot about purple and yellow and how all that went down. Um, but ultimately, I think there were some players that put some big targets on their back in this game. And then I think the three players that thought they were just going to be able to clear up everyone together, I think that they didn't foresee water to be as important as it was. Uh, and I, I like migration because even in early game, you can go for the water... Um, and snipe kings on, on islands and use the shoreline. And it's just, it's something that a lot of people forget about. So great job. Um, <clears throat> look at the resources collected. I'm sure it's insane. We had lots of trade running. There's the KD. Purple still killed more than anyone. Purple is out of that game a long time ago. Um, but yeah, gray, the trade profit, 69,000 trade. And actually only red and only blue were doing it. I think green would have benefited from some trade. Uh, considering they were all allies on shoreline for a while. But um, yeah, the, the trade profit is really what saved Gray. And he also had a lot of that trade profit with dead players, um, just maintaining his trade numbers on the water, which was, again, super important. Um, but I had a fantastic time watching this game. I hope people enjoyed it. As always, the games are a bit unique. Different personalities clashing, different maps from time to time too. So it's good stuff. But yeah, I think my favorite moment, <laughs> the first King Snipe from Green was awesome. <laughs> um, but the second King Snipe where Green just said, I have a problem. <laughs> that was my favorite moment. So.